This video is a product buyer's guide intended for gift givers and adult collectors. Hey guys, welcome to Toy Chat. This is Max. And Sang. We'd like to thank MGA for sending us these dolls for free. If you're caught up with the Rainbow High animated series, you know the fierce rivalry between Rainbow High and Shadow High has come to a boiling point with Rainbow Vision, a long-running school competition in the series canon. Its title is likely a reference to real-world songwriting competition Eurovision. This definitely seems to be where Rainbow Vision borrowed the inspiration for its logo. It's been won by Rainbow High for the past seven years straight, but Team Shadow High is taking center stage in a bold new way. Today, we'll be reviewing a trio of brand new Shadow High dolls, the bombastic rock band Neon Shadow. The bandmates include drummer Mara Pinkett, vocalist Harley Limestone, and guitarist Uma Van Hoos. We've already been introduced to Harley in the animated series, and we discussed our first impressions of these characters upon their initial reveal in episode 3 of our Collector's Corner podcast. As we covered in that same episode, Neon Shadow isn't the only musical group stepping up to bat in Rainbow Vision's music competition. Representing Team Rainbow High will be the Rainbow Divas, a separate trio of dolls giving more of a disco girl group vibe to contrast Neon Shadow those hard-edged rockers. Rest assured, we'll be reviewing them as well once we track them down. There are already some accounts of collectors finding these dolls at Walmart stores. Before we get started, make sure to subscribe to our channel and turn on notifications so you never miss a moment of the adult collector perspective here on Toy Chat. So, whose team should you be on this season of Rainbow Vision? We'll dive right in to make our case for the shadows. We received these dolls in PR from MGA, but they're expected to be widely available on store shelves by July 11th. When we scanned the barcodes at our local targets, each doll was listed in their system for $39.99. Though we're unsure if this is the finalized or permanent pricing. We'll display all three characters' UPC barcodes and DPCI numbers on screen here. Share this information with your local store's employees to check stock. The Neon Shadow Girls packaging is most similar to the previous Rainbow High Rockstar line which we also reviewed. The boxes are stylized to the rival school, of course, featuring iridescent backdrops and Shadow High logo. We can see each character's clearly in her center compartment with the musical instrument accessories to her right and complete secondary outfit to mix and match at her left. Artwork of these three bandmates decorate the bottom alongside the iridescent Rainbow Vision logo. School focuses are listed at the side of each doll's box and it comes to no surprise that all three of these rock stars are music focus. At the back of the packaging, we can see the full body artwork of all three characters and a description reading, The world famous Rainbow Vision music competition is heating up, and the rocking girls in Neon Shadow have their eyes on the prize. Alright, let's see how hard they rock out of box. First up, we have Shadow High's pink girl, Mara Pinkett. She debuts what looks to be a brand new skin tone to the series in a very pale pink. Her eyes are a cool gray with shades of purple to icy blue in the iris. We think Mara's face looks similar to Delilah's, but the eyes share some similarity to Mina Fleur's dreamy expression as well. Mara has dramatic black winged eyeliner with the ends zigzagged into lightning bolts. Another line of white eyeliner is just above that, followed by an airbrushed hot pink eyeshadow layer. The bottom eyelid is pink. A few of her lower painted lashes are white, while the rest are black. A coat of glitter is applied to the white areas of her eyeshadow and the water duct. Her lips are painted a pearlescent candy pink with a dark pink line at the crease. She wears a black hat made of rubbery plastic. This hat reminds us of those popular Disneyland Park Mickey and Minnie Mouse ears, particularly those retro ones that have a little bit of a cap on top instead of just the headband. The ears here, however, more closely resemble cat ears. There are various silver painted stud details on the ears and cap. There's a molded safety pin on each ear. 
A cursive shadow high text is in the front and there's a rim of silver studs around it. <laughs> so we were panicking a bit about how to take this off or if we could or should. And pleasant surprise, it actually just pops right off and is held on with a peg, kind of similar to Rainbow High Series 1 Ruby. And just like Ruby, a large hole is left behind in her head when you remove the cap, but you can easily move some of her hair to cover it if you want. Removing the cap, we can see that Mara has a middle part to her long neon pink hair. The hair is crimped and reaches her knees. There were creases left from the plastic bands holding her in box, but with a little water and some padding, those creases vanished. We do not recommend you brush her crimped hair. She also wears large, translucent pink hoop earrings. Mara's signature outfit consists of a cropped denim jacket, black t-shirt dress, and pink sock boots. Her hot pink denim jacket has frayed edges at the hem. There's a black patch that reads shadow, an obvious reference to the brand Supreme. There's also a circular SH patch that has silver tinsel threaded through. There's an embroidered safety pin above the right breast pocket, and a row of silver studs along the front and on each of the breast pockets. Inscribed across the back, we can see anti-sparkle in black. Underneath, she has on a long black shirt that almost resembles more of a dress with a longer flap in the back. This shirt is inspired by a famous Disney Mickey Mouse graphic that is available in Japan. If you really like this shirt, you can get the Mickey version right now in the US at Hot Topic and Box Lunch. Mara's version has a cute kitty cat that's in the same pose as Mickey in the original graphic. But the kitty cat is definitely styled more like Minnie Mouse. Above the graphic is Japanese katakana that reads Team Shadow, and as we discussed in our Ash Silverstone review, this translates directly to the English phrase Team Shadow. There are silver studs decorating around the graphic and two silver embroidered safety pins on the bottom corner. Mara is wearing pink sock boots. The print on these shoes remind us of the Moschino collaboration with Barbie. Let us know if that's a match in your eyes. The boots are a stretchy fabric and the soles and heels are black plastic. Mara's secondary outfit is where she really shows off her punk rock style. She has on a black pleather biker jacket. Pink plaid fabric makes up the torso. If you look closely at this fabric, you can see holographic threading throughout. There is a non-functioning zipper on the front as well as the vents of her sleeves. Silver stud detailing is on the lapel and collar. Over the front right breast is a shadow high school emblem patch with a graphic of a safety pin and hot pink S, along with another triangle patch that reads 2022. The right sleeve features a whopping six patches, a kitty cat covering her eyes, an angry punk rock cat, an SH patch, I heart shadow rock, and an eclipse patch. Some of the patches seem to match up with the D squared 2 logo patch denim jacket, though it might be a coincidence. On the back, there is stylized text that reads shadow rock in metallic silver. We love it when the interior of our dolly clothes are lined just like this jacket. Mara is wearing a very electric hot pink dress. The dress is made of pleather and features a scattering of silver studs in circles, squares, and diamonds. The dress is broken up at the waist by a mesh section that has a row of silver studs. Her black pleather calf length boots feature the same studs as her dress. The pleather is pretty stretchy, so you can just slide these on. The platform heels and soles are a hot pink. Representing neon green at Shadow High is Harley Limestone. Harley has witchy pale green skin. Interestingly, Harley looks like she has heterochromia. Her right eye is predominantly light blue, while her left eye is mainly reddish purple. There's a light spectrum of color in the iris. Her eyeshadow is quite unique. It looks like a style like neon lights. There's a curvy white line with a neon green glow that runs through her eyelids and water duct area. The line creates leaf-like shapes. Her lips are a toxic green with darkened edges and black liner around the lips. Her long straight hair, which is parted in the middle, is a vibrant neon green that reaches past her calves. The hair is a blend of two different greens and a bit of white strands mixed in. The underside hair portion is black. There are four braids in her hair that have black strings woven through. She wears the coolest cat ears that are made up of barbed wire. Harley's earrings are based on the Versace gold safety pin earrings, but in silver. These are pretty exact recreations. The real deal Versace earring retails for $450. I think we'll stick with the Harley miniature ones. 
And fun fact, you may recall Lyric Lucas from the Rockstar line sports earrings in a similar sculpt, but swap school emblems, of course. The right Harley one has an H. While the left earring has an S on it, Harley is wearing an edgy hoodie with crossing straps. The black straps reach shadow repeatedly and have silver adjustable strap buckles. The hoodie is mainly black with neon green sleeves. There's a graphic of a grunge style cartoon cat wearing overalls on the front. This cat is definitely striking the iconic Mickey Mouse pose. There are metallic kanji characters behind the cat that translate to Shadow High. We would like to thank our good friend Jonah for helping us translate all the Japanese. There's a working front pocket with a silver embroidered safety pin at the lower left. The sleeves have circular studs on them and the cuffs have white stripes. The hood and backside velcro shut in the back. While Harley does not wear a shirt underneath her hoodie, she does come with athletic shorts. We have seen similar shorts on Nicole before, but Harleys are more colorful and have text on the side. The Japanese text reads Shadow High on one side and Team Shadow on the other. Harley is wearing knee-length sneaker boots in black and white. The tip of the shoe tongue has the SH logo. While the shoes have white painted shoelace detailing, actual white strings are looped through the top. There is a smiley face on each side of the shoe. This image reminds us of the Nirvana logo. There's a green shadow logo on the back. And she also wears white socks with two green stripes under these boots. Let's check out Harley now that she's decked out in her secondary outfit. Her premium faux fur coat is quite detailed. There are loads of embroidered texts running across the white fur. Starting from the collar, it reads shadow high in neon green embroidery. Then on the back is an embroidered shadow, followed by katakana reading anti-sparkle, then eclipse in black, anti-sparkle in black and green, katakana for shadow rock, a repeat row of shadow from earlier, and finally anti-sparkle in just green. The inside is lined with more fur and a layer of white with an iridescent shadow monogram similar to Dior, which we have seen in prior dolls. Underneath, she wears a sequenced crop top. The top is neon green matching her overall aesthetic. The shoulder straps have the same design used on Chanel products, meaning black straps loop through chains, though it's all fabric here. Harley has on gray denim pants. They have functioning front pockets as well as rear pockets. The front also has the SH text here in gray and large. The rear pockets has the stylized SH logo embroidered on them. The back of the lower pants legs together reads, see you in the shadows. The font used here in much of Shadow High students clothing might be inspired by the font of the brand Palmed Angels, which used the same gothic lettering. The pants legs of the jeans features a total of five cartoon cats drawn in the retro Mickey Mouse style. This stylation is also similar to Felix the Cat. Each cat probably references a rock star, one of them especially resembling Gene Simmons of Kiss. Can you name anyone else? Underneath these pants, she has on neon green fishnet leggings with a stretchy waistband. For her footwear, Harley has on black combat boots. There's a buckle strap around the opening with painted silver studs on the strap. More painted studs decorates the heel, sole, and vamp of the boot. The vamp and the heel are painted silver. Neon green strings are hooked onto the eyelets. Our neon shadow closes out with indigo hues thanks to Ms. Uma Van Hoos. We think her face looks similar to the Devious Twins, but we're not completely sure. Like the other girls, she introduces a unique fantasy-leaning skin tone in a pale bluish white. Beneath her deep purple eyebrows, we can see two tiers of eyeshadow in pinkish lavender and indigo, respectively. It's topped with a baby blue liner, and the lowermost layer is dusted in glitter. Her left cheek is marked with a tiny broken heart, and her lips are pearly pink. This screening is unique in that both her upper and lower lips appear rounded with no cupid's bow, which reminds me of Princess Peach. Uma wears a floppy black pleather hat on her head. It has an embroidered silver rim and a large sculpted shadow decoration in metallic silver. On the back of the hat, we can see a stylized printed smiley face with letters S and H in place of eyes. We're pretty sure that once again, this was inspired by Nirvana's smiley face logo. It gave me some vibes of the similar Blink-182 logo as well, but yeah, the main inspiration is probably Nirvana. Uma's hair is a gorgeous blend of indigo blue to purple tones with some lighter and darker shades mixed in. It's styled into loose waves with a bit of product. 
Removing fabric hats is always a haphazard move for Playline collectors, but we want to make sure you guys get every detail. So here is Uma's hairline beneath the hat. Her hair is parted just to the left side with deep blue and purple painted sculpted baby hairs. We were able to fasten the hat back on by removing only the front plastic ties in her head, but honestly, we aren't confident this would stay on very well if you remove all of the plastic ties. Not without a clothespin or something else to secure it, anyway. Her earrings are a very cute pairing. A metallic silver key is at her right ear, and a matching lock with SH logo is at her left. Uma's signature outfit begins with a layered royal blue mesh netting crop top, complete with a sequin overlay. The sequins sparkle beautifully in green and blue hues, and the piece is lined in black fabric across the top. Beneath this, she also wears a white mesh netting top, which seems intended to pair with overlaid pieces for added style. She also has two bracelets. Over her right wrist is a silver sculpted chain, and at her left is a black bracelet studded in silver spikes. As if her top weren't stylish enough, check out these pants. They're two-toned plaid in purple, blue, and white with some sparkly silver stitch detailing. A buckled black fabric strap connects from a faux zipper at the right side down to another faux zipper and additional dangling fabric strap at her left. Separate strips of fabric are sewn around her lower pant legs with belt loop attachments, and there's another strap with more faux zippers at the bottom. Her metallic silver SH belt buckle is slightly movable, but it is sewn to the pants at the back Velcro opening. There are a total of four functional pockets at the sides and rear. Her signature shoes are blue heels with silver sculpted SH logos and black painted bottoms. Uma is fully stage ready in her secondary outfit. It kicks off with a royal blue long-sleeved coat with black buttons and pleather sleeves. Each sleeve is decorated in metallic silver studs and buckle details at the cuff. A silver buckled black belt can wrap through the fabric belt loops, and yes, this is its own separate removable piece. There are real pockets with black pleather cuffs at each side. The coat has a luxurious lined interior in smooth royal blue fabric. Under the coat, she wears a playful white crop top with plastic straps. Graphic print across the front reads Hollywood Shadow, and we once again see the classic Disney cartoon-style cat rocking out with a microphone, which gives off a gorgeous iridescent sheen along with the shadow print. These designs may loosely borrow inspiration from Disney Hollywood's graphic tees. This stylish pleated plaid skirt has a similar color palette and sparkly stitch detail to her pants. A black pleather tube skirt acts as a separate layer beneath, but these pieces are sewn together at the back. You can remove the little plastic ties at the front if you want the skirt to flow more loosely. Pleated skirts are very in, and we've seen a variety of K-pop stars sporting pieces very similar to this, including Blackpink. Uma's second shoes are impressively detailed. A sculpted silver anklet with an attached charm resembling the Versace Medusa head decorate the cuffs, and there are Yale blue straps over the bridges of her feet. A detailed metallic silver design decorates a cross. There's an additional black strap with studded spike details over her toes. The soles are black, though the blue straps wrap over the bottom. These shoes seem to borrow inspiration from a handful of different Versace heels. You gotta have your equipment on hand if you're gonna hit the stage. Each Neon Shadow Girls comes with a musical instrument or accessory. Mara's drum set seems to be a reprint of Vanessa Tempo's drum set. Mara's drums are painted white and hot pink with silver edges and hinges. There's a large angry cartoon cat in the front. The shadow logo is based on the Pearl brand of percussion products. The kanji on either side of the cat translates to dark and shadow. Also included is a bass drum pedal in silver. And finally, Mara can hold two silver drumsticks to play her instrument with. There are little slots for her thumbs to help her hold these. Harley is the main singer of the group, so she comes with a green microphone with shadow and white text, and a microphone stand with a black pleather fabric wrap. There are silver circles on the wrap and a velcro shut instead of being tied together. Minus the fact that the stand base has spikes, this is an identical match to Lyrics Lucas's microphone stand. There's a black string attached to the microphone that leads into a silver plug that is connected to her black and silver amp. Once again, this is a close match to Lyrics amp minus the shadow logo that is based on the Gibson logo. The top handle is neon green and reads shadow. 
And lastly, we have Uma's instrument, her electric guitar and guitar case. The guitar takes its title literally, being black with blue lighting graphics. The shape of the guitar seems to be a modified Charvel star. The attached guitar strap is colored in a lovely night sky tone gradient with metallic shadow print and silver crescent moons. Although we were able to remove the strap from Carmen Major's similar accessory, the strap here seems to be latched on very tight and we weren't able to remove it even after a little jostling. You can still lift it over or under the doll if you like. Also similar to Carmen, Uma's guitar comes complete with a sleek guitar case in black and silver with a blue handle. There are silver latches to secure it close. The guitar itself is a perfect fit inside, though we had a little difficulty since we couldn't remove the strap. These instrument accessories are all purely decorative. None actually make sound. As per usual, each girl comes with her own stand and comb in her perspective color. Pink for Mara, green for Harley, and blue for Uma. Clothes hangers also make their return in this release. Each girl comes with two hangers, one hanger with clamps, and one brand new Shadow High logo hanger. All right, so here are our final thoughts on the Neon Shadow dolls. So, as we've seen with the past few Shadow High releases, it seems as though the grayscale concept didn't set the rules for all characters. What we seem to have instead is a general spectrum of fantasy skin-toned, dark and edgy dolls. If the grayscale theme only continues among the core schoolmates, that's fine by me and I think opens wiggle room for more themes. As Shadow High evolves, it definitely continues to offer an appeal that feels very different from its rival school, with a lot of goth, streetwear, and spooky inspirations. The otherworldly screenings and skin tones definitely still give a more supernatural vibe, which I'm a huge fan of. The Neon Shadow Girls are incredibly striking in person and have no shortage of luxe details. If you manage to actually pick these up at Target for only $39.99, I think that's an awesome deal. Mara seemed like too much hot pink for me at first, but her secondary jacket is amazing and really diversifies her look. Her electric saturation overall is pretty fun to behold up close. Harley and Uma are both totally gorgeous and must-haves as far as I'm concerned. I'm a big fan of Uma's indigo tones and iridescence. I think she's probably my favorite overall. Neon Shadow is like a loosely heavy metal, slightly K-pop inspired spin on Josie and the Pussycats. And these dolls are just as photogenic as they are a visual joyride in person. MGA continues to push the boundaries of what we ordinarily expect from Playline, and I still have to see the Rainbow Divas in person, but as of right now, I think Team Shadow High has won me over in this competition. I was really looking forward to the Neon Shadow Girls when they first teased by the Shadow High Instagram. We did a coverage of our thoughts on the Rainbow Vision dolls in a previous podcast. These dolls do not disappoint in person. Just like the Rainbow High Rockstar line that came out a little while ago, you really get bang for your buck here. Each girl comes with two full outfits, and both ensembles are gorgeous and no detail was spared. If you were to show off what MGA is capable of, these dolls are the perfect examples to use. I honestly cannot stress how much Neon Shadow has impressed me. I really love these dolls and highly recommend you add these to your Shadow High collection. I can't wait to review Rainbow High Divas and see how they stack up next to Neon Shadow. Neon Shadow is a hard act to follow. Thank you for joining us for this review. We hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and leave a comment below sharing your thoughts on Neon Shadow. Sang and I will be flying off to New York very soon for a special toy-centric event. So apologies in advance if there's a bit of a delay on our next video, but we'll have plenty of great content to share on the newest and hottest toys coming this season once we're back, so stay tuned. And with that, we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.